Welcome to practice. Welcome to my open air space here in front of the Andaman Sea, South Thailand. We have an energizing flow today and this is meant to be a morning class for you or any time when extra energy is needed. So find a cross-legged seat or a seat which is comfortable for you, sitting on heels, sitting on blocks, whatever. Elevate your spine. Reach up with your shoulders towards your ears and roll them down your back. And now we're going to start with a pranayama, a variation of Nadi Shodhana, alternative nostril breathing. And you need your dominant hand and a mudra. If you've done this before, this is familiar for you probably, rolling forefinger and middle finger into the root of your thumb. If you never heard about this, please forget about it and just take forefinger and thumb to close the nostrils alternatively. If you use the mudra, you have the thumb and the last two fingers to close the nostrils in the same way. We are just uh, separating the inhales. So we are inhaling on the left side only and exhaling through both. The next round means we're going to inhale on the right and exhale again to both, through both. I'm going to guide you through. So sit nice and tall, having a smile around your lips before you close your eyes down or just create it afterwards. And then get the mudra in your dominant hand or use forefinger and thumb. Take an inhale here first, a normal one through the nose. And while you are exhaling, you are lifting your palm up to your nose, closing the right side of your nose and inhale only on the left. Exhale through both nostrils. Close the left side and inhale only on the right. Exhale on both. Close the right and inhale left. Exhale on both. Inhale on the right. Exhale both. Inhale left. Exhale. Inhale only right. Exhale. Inhale only on the left. And exhale. Inhale on the right. And exhale. Left is inhaling. Exhale. Inhale on the right. And exhale. Last round here of this energizing breath. Exhale. The last one is coming on the right. Inhale. Exhale while you release your palm back down on knee or thigh. Inhale through both the nostrils again. And exhale. Feel the effect. This is meant to be an energizing breath pattern for we are dividing the inhales into two parts. 
if you are dividing the exhales into parts, it's more coming down this. So you may use this anywhere else outside your mouth. Take an in-breath and reach up through your arms over heart. The eyes might be still closed. Lift your gaze, lift your eyes and bring them open. And then take the right palm down and lean over to your right. Sweep the left one, left arm over heart, maybe bending this right elbow, pushing the left hip down. And then lift and rise back up. And take it over towards the opposite side, pushing your right hip down, extending your right arm over heart. Lifting your gaze, bending this left elbow maybe, deep in breath here, stay for the exhale, inhale, reach back up, interlace fingers behind your heart and allow the heart to sink into your palms like a hammer. The elbows are spread apart. And you are rising your heart. Inhale here. And with the exhale, close your elbows around your temples and round your spine. Look into your navel. Inhale. Lift and open. And with the exhale, round down. Last one here. Inhale. Ah. Draw the chin into your throat. Feel the stretch around your neck muscles. Shoulders away from your ears. And then rise again. Open the arms and roll over your knees into a tabletop position. The palms are having shoulder widths. The knees are having a hip width distance and we're going to have a couple cat stretches here so arch your spine and with a long exhale round draw navel in inhale arch and exhale round draw the right knee into your core Pressing into your palms and into your left chin and knee. Inhale, lift this right foot. Exhale, draw it in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, rise the foot, curl the left toes under and lift into three-legged down dog. Extend the right leg. Deep in breath here, and with the exhale, draw the knee into core and step the foot outside your right pinky, climbing on fingertips and lowering the left knee down, extending your spine, sending your left hip forward by getting your right hip a little bit further into your back and feel the stretch here. Deep in breath here and a long exhale. Extend, re extend the left leg. Place both palms down. Scoop the right inner knee towards your right outer shoulder. And step it back into a three legged down dog. Before you lower, the right knee down and bring the left knee next to the right. Inhale, arch your spine. And with the exhale, draw the left knee in. Inhale, extend and lift this left foot high. And with the exhale, draw it in. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, scoop the right toes under and lift into three-legged panda. 
extend the left leg with the deep in breath here and with the exhale draw the knee into your core move forward and step the foot outside your left pinky lowering the right knee down climbing on fingertips extend the spine looking ahead of you and see how much you can push the pelvis down and forward and down place both arms back down lift the back knee push into this knee push into the forefoot and lift the left knee towards your left outer shoulder and step it back into a three-legged down dog. Lower the foot down and finding your downward facing dog shape here. Spreading the fingers open, pressing the palms down and away. Lifting your hips high. Putting a tiny bit of a bend into knees to lift the hips even higher. And maybe shifting your weight a little bit from side to side. Whatever feels good to move into this downward shape. And now I'm finding your center position. Coming into stillness here for a deep breath. Sigh it out through your open mouth. Lifting heels with an in-breath, bending the knees and stepping one foot forward and the second one is following. Behind wrists into hip width distance and put a bend in a deep bend into your knees so you are aligning your ribs upon your thighs let the head be hanging softly the neck is long and if the knees are pretty much bent you are probably able to place the back side of your palms down in front of toes maybe you really have to sink down with your hips and Finding the stretch for your wrists. Shifting the weight a little bit from side to side if this feels good. Letting the heart relax. Neck is long. And then coming back into center. Bringing the palms on the two tops of your chin bones. Inhale, extend the spine. Ada Uttanasana. And with the exhale, fold. Open the arms wide, put a bend into your knees and rise into Oda Hastasana all the way. Reach up over heart and bring the palms into prayer in front of Pratsa. Sending the weight onto your left foot, take an in breath and reach up with your right leg, right knee. And with the exhale, swing this right leg through into a third warrior variation. The arms are extended as well. Inhale, rise this leg up again. And with the exhale, send it back. Stand. Inhale again, reach up. And with the exhale, send the right leg back. Bending the left one to step the right one down onto the mat, lowering the knee down, pointing toes away from you and reaching up. Anyanyasana. With the exhale, framing the front foot and stepping it back into high push-up. Your choice. Knees, chest and chin or a push-up right away, whatever speaks to you. Guiding yourself through into a cobra or into an upward facing dog before you take it back into down dog. Finding your position here. Take a huge in breath and allow yourself to sigh it out through your open mouth. Lift heels, bend knees, and take one foot first 
The other one is following back into Tanasana. Inhale to lengthen the spine, Adha Uttanasana, maybe palms on shin bones or fingertips on floor. And with the exhale, fold. Open the arms wide, lift all the way up, Udha Hastasana, palms into prayer. Send the weight onto your right, inhale, lift the left knee. And with the exhale, variation of third warrior. Extend the left leg. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, take it back. Inhale, reach up. And with the exhale, send the leg away. Bend the right knee for landing. Step the left one back, lower the knee down, point the toes away if possible. Extra balance. And then bring palms around the front foot and step it back into a high push-up. Knees, chest and chin. Or if you are ready for a full push-up, do whatever speaks to you. Lower knees down, lower forearms down and glide through into a cobra or into an upward facing dog. Before you take it back into down dog. Deep inhale here. And once again, take the chance to sigh it out. Lift heels, bend knees, step or hop back into Uttanasana, forward fold. Fold over legs. See how much you can bring your ribs onto thighs. Have the knees bended as much as you need to. And then open the arms wide and lift back up into Oda Hastasana. Arms in front of heart center. Step the weight onto your left. Inhale, rise your right leg, the right knee. And sweep it back. Land right away in a crescent this time. Bend both knees and reach up here. With the exhale, find a skandhasana towards your right leg. On a low level, sweep the hips forward and have an easy twist to your left side lunge twist. Framing the front foot and stepping it back into high push up. Whatever makes sense for you, a full push up. Lower knees down and forearms down and take it through into an Upward facing dog or into a cobra. Down dog here. Deep in breaths. Sigh it out through your open mouth. Lifting heels, bending knees. Step or lightly hop back into Uttanasana. Forward fold. Open the arms wide, Oda Hastasana. Arms in front of her center. Inhale, rise your left and sweep it back. Rebend the right knee, land for crescent. Both knees are bent and you are shifting your left hip forward. Inhale here and with the exhale, spin the back foot flat. Skandhasana. On a low level, send the left palm down. Easy side lunge twist. Frame the front foot and step it back into high push up. Lower down or skip the vinyasa. Feel free. Down dog is where we meet. Oda Mukka. Adho Mukka Svanasana. Down dog, deep in breath here, and a long exhale. Lift heels, bend knees, step, or lightly hop back into Uttanasana, forward fold. Open the arms wide and rise. 
Arms into prayer in front of heart center. Inhale and lift your right knee. And with the exhale, swing it through. Inhale, rise back up. And this time we're going to cross for eagle wrap. So the right one is going over the left or maybe all the way. So twice around the standing lap, whatever you are choosing. The arms are kind of having an easy eagle bind where you just get hold of your outer shoulders or you cross the arms even twice. Sit low, take an in breath here, squeeze the inner legs together, rise, unwind the legs, lift the right knee again, reach back into this third warrior variation. And then bend the left knee for landing. Reach up here with your arms in eagle wrap. Feel the shoulder which is moving. And then open the legs again wide into Skandasana towards the back. Easy side lunge twist. Frame the front foot and step it back into a high push up. Your choice again. It's your practice. Do whatever makes sense for you. Deep breaths here. And once again, the chance to sigh it out. Let it go through the open mouth. Lift heels, bend knees. Up or step back into the front of your mouth and fold. Inhale, put a bend into your knees, rise all the way up. Arms in front of heart center. Step onto your right, lift your left knee and sweep it back. Once again, lifting this left knee and this time for eagle wrap. You may just get the size over one another or again try to bring the toes behind and find an eagle wrap so the left one is going under, shoulders or the double wrap. Thinking low and rising, engaging your pelvic floor, unwinding the legs, lifting the left le knee and sweeping it back into this variation of a third warrior. For landing, you are bending the right knee deeply. Step it back, reach up with your elbows, fingers over and into your back. And then spin the back foot flat, Skandasana, before you move on a low level into side lunge, twist to the right. Prime the front foot and step it back into a high push up. Lower knees down. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog is where we are going. Deep in breath here. And a long exit. Lift heels, bend knees and step or hop back into Uttanasana forward fold. Bring palms behind your ankles if this is available with a little bend within your knees and then open the arms wide or the Hastasana. Palms in front of the front center. And for an extra energizing salute i want you to get introduced to ocean salutes very easy kind of sun salutes so we're gonna have a hip width distance it's just one breath which is taking us, us through a whole round so this means we're gonna inhale open the arms into a v-shape you may climb onto tippy toes it's not needed you may stay on this whole sole of the foot and then bringing palms together, lowering the seat down, 
I'm taking the legs over half. You may step up onto your feet without the fingers or you use your finger pads. Inhale, rise onto toes if you want this. And with the exhale, sink down. Send the legs over half. Using palms or doing it without fingers. Inhale. And with the exhale, lower down. Inhale. Rise. And with the exhale, feel the activation of your long spinal muscles. In. Exhale. Do it in your own pace. Inhale to rise. And the exhale is taking you all the way over half. Now you are starting the inhale again to rise. Open the arms wide and taking it back. One last round. Inhale. Woo. Climbing onto tippy toes. Reaching out and with the exhale. Roll over the whole length of your spine. Reach up here. And then have open feet. The toes are slightly pointing away from you. And you are sinking down into Malasana. If this is not possible, lift heels. Or take something below your heels to let the hips sink further down. Feel the energy. You have just been generating with these ocean salutes. Let your seat come down. Cross your legs again in front of you. Find a tall seat. Feel the change. Feel your heartbeat still. Close your eyes for a moment. Bring palms into prayer to feel connected towards your heartbeat. Feel connected towards the energy you have been generating within this short practice. Notice the change in your sensations, the flow of the energy. Lifting your heart up again with the help of your sons and kindly bending over fingertips to connect with your heart center. Feel gratitude and love towards yourself for this practice for this day, you are able to be with yourself. Lift the heart back up. And we blink the eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste.